What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite channel. It's back again, giving you an educational session on Ichimoku. And today I want to go over the settings. I had a question from a subscriber asked me about, uh, you know, why, why or what settings do I prefer for Ichimoku? And I prefer the, the, man, I'm getting tongue tied right now. I'm tired, you guys. <laughs> I, I use, I prefer the default settings because I think it flows better with the Ichimoku system. And I want to show you why it flows better. So bear with me and, you know, take notes if you want to. Uh, I'm going to be, I'm going to take my time with this one and show you. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like with the crypto settings, which is, you, you know, double the numbers to an extent. Oops, okay. So the Ichimoku numbers for crypto that people use is 20, 60, and 120. Their argument is that since cryptos is 24 seven, uh, you wanna double the stats, but that's, you'll see why I don't like it. All right. Well, when you look at it, you, you kind of miss out on trades. So let's focus on this area and I'm going to show you why I don't like it because when you see this, this, yeah, this is cool here because you know, it, it's saying that, man, I, actually it's still, I don't even like that still. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to highlight an area and then I'm going to go back to the regular settings. All right, so we're going to go focus on this area right in here. And I'm going to make this area, let's see, let's focus on green. Okay, so this green zone here, we're going to focus on this. And I'm going to show you the regular settings and I'm going to compare the two. All right, so you see here, we already had our TK cross right here, showing that the market, you know, it gave us a bullish signal here. Now, this is gonna suck because I gotta go back and forth to show you guys. I don't know any faster way to do this. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and go back. And sh I'm gonna show you where it is on the cryptocurrency settings which is silly because you missed out on big opportunity and you missed the trade so you did get the tk cross a bullish signal until way up here and you would have missed out on the trade that's that started down in here unless you know how to read price action candles and candlesticks you know you know this would have the candles would have told you you know go up but if you're going off the signals of Ichimoku, I don't like it. Even here, it doesn't really glide really well with the Tinkinson, as you see here. Uh, when you have it on the regular settings, the default, you'll see that the red line stays pretty close to the price and better than the, what you see here. So once again, let me show you. So you see here how it, it's touching and it's respecting the price here. This lets you know that the trend is pretty good. You don't get those bounces as you see on the higher time frame. That's that uh, on a not a high, on the well uh, double settings of cryptocurrency settings as people use. That's why I, one reason why I don't like it. Well, two reasons that I already gave you. You missed your trade down here. Uh, you got your TK cross here on the double setting you had it up here so you missed out on the trade uh let's see what else look how it follows the tinkinson here so let's go ahead and go back to our double settings this is gonna get old going back and forth like this so you see here 
it just it doesn't even touch or respect the Tinkinson. I mean Kijinson. It just bounces off Tinkinson here, and then it's a far away from it. So when you see this, this makes it seem like you want to buy the the asset versus you know you know sticking to a sale. Because when you see that it's far away like this, you know you, you're like, okay, this may be a buying opportunity, but really. You, you messed up the chart by doubling it. You get some weird movement with the Tinkinson and the Keatinson, which I don't like. Now, here it, it kind of, you know, it respected pretty well. But let's go back to the, you know, regular settings and you'll see that it flows a little bit cleaner off of the you know, no, normal settings on here. So let's go ahead and do that. You see how it's cleaner here? It's respecting and gliding on the Tinkinson line. You could get more trade entries if you wanted to stack up different positions throughout this daily time frame and ride it up. So that's how I look at it. Uh, I don't really like the double settings. It just doesn't make sense. And I'm already used to trading, you know, trading with the normal settings because in Forex, you don't use double settings you use basically the default settings and there's actually a secret to Ichimoku with those numbers as well which it, that's more advanced stuff that I could teach in a later session but that is going to require some learning the system first but uh when you look at it it the, the uh, the default settings you see that it respects you know the trend i mean the clouds a little better it respects the the moving averages in the tinkinson and the kijinson a little bit better it, it flows a lot better you know on the on the default settings now when you see chiku span chiku span is going to be the same regardless because it follows the price of the market so not too much is going to change with that so i can't that's that's going to remain somewhat uh the same uh, actually let's see if it will remain the same so this is it right here so let's go ahead and see double settings Yep, but see, this remains the same because it just follows the price. So this is going to remain the same. Even here, you see this breakout was, you know, you could have got in on the breakout up in here. You see how you broke up here and you took, you would have missed this. You know, this was not really a breakout here. Let's focus on this area real quick. Oh, excuse me. Ooh. Yeah, this, today has been a long day, you guys. Let's see. So you see that? You, you could have got, you missed all this. You could have got in way over here. If you're doing a Kumo breakout trade. Like, it, it would have probably, you know, you would have been in a down draw right, you know, when it came back up, but then you see that it, you know, bounced that Kijinsen and went down. You saw how thick the cloud was right here. So you would have missed the trade. You would have gotten into the trade until you were at this point. So you're missing out on entering into the market. And why would you want to miss out when you could get into a trade earlier? Uh, let's go to another pair and I'll show you as well. So let's go check out Ethereum. Uh, actually, no, I have this marked up to. Yeah, let's go with Ethereum. That's fine. So let's go ahead and double the settings. Now you see this. So you see these highlighted areas. This was a bounce here. You know, we had a, uh, you know, breakout here. So let's see what it's going to show us, you know, when we double the settings. Because you miss a lot of opportunity when you have it on double settings. And people, you know, argue to the death of them <laughs> that, you know, the double settings make sense. But I don't think so. 
So here, this one acted pretty well, honestly. Because you see that it, it, it shows a Kumo bounce. And this one was actually a pretty good, you know, how it looked here. Here, you know, it respected the cloud here. So it was pretty good here as well. Now, now you have to wonder, is this going to be a breakout or not? Because if it's not a breakout, you know, this will be a good, uh, this will be pretty good for the double settings. Now, I like how it looks right now on the double settings because see, you see it's, you know, respecting pretty well. But when it comes down to it, the settings honestly, you know, don't matter because I like the, the default because that's what I'm used to. But when you are trading, if you know how to read the candlesticks and price action and the, know the market, the structure of the market, the clouds don't even matter at that point. The clouds are just there to, you know, give you a visual on what the market looks like. So that's why I say that. I, it doesn't really matter because if you, you know, looked at it without the clouds, you know, you have a, it look a little cleaner. So, let's see. So you see, well, actually it looks like it, it still did pretty good on the respected, even a little bit cleaner with the default settings. So I'm still gonna stick with the default settings. It just looks cleaner in my opinion. You can use the double settings which is 20, 60, and 120 if you want, but that's up to you. I just think you should use, you know, keep it simple, to use the defaults. It works just as well, if not better, in my opinion. Uh, you miss out on opportunities when you use the regular, you know, and when, you, when you use the double settings, that's just my opinion. And if you know the structure of the market, like right here, when you have, we had the double settings, when we had that flat zone here, which is a, you know, it acted as a resistance because it has a, it was right here. So if you look back over here, you could tell that there was some, this would be a good area of support and resistance depending on where the price is at. So let's go ahead and, you know, knock it off real quick. You still get the same market. Like, even without, you know, knowing, uh, even without the clouds, you still get the same thing. As long as you know how to read the candlesticks individually, you could still get into good trades like you see here based off of reading the candlesticks and price action. So it's good to understand the market structure without Ichimoku so you could, you know, you know, trade it. But I prefer having Ichimoku on just because I get a visual and I get more confirmation before going into a trade. Another area that I would like to watch for is, you know, let me actually move these down to here. Because this is also an area that I would like to watch if we do, you know, manage to get above this fractal here. Because it looks like prices want and willing to go up higher. So we will see. We got a, you know, a Kumo twist and a bright future cloud prices above the cloud chiku span broke above the only thing now is we're above you know we're at a resistance so i would expect price action here that's all i'm saying for this but that's why i use the double i mean I, that's why i use the default settings i don't like you know to add on to something that's already a good system you know why fix something that's why change something that's already pretty good it's not broken, so don't need to fix it. If you want to double the settings, that's up to you. But, you know, everybody has their own choice. So that's my video for the day, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed the, the educational video on why I like the default settings versus the doubled settings, let me know in the comment section. And if you are, are willing to learn Ichimoku, let me know if you like content like this. I'm going to start putting out more Ichimoku educational videos. And if you want to be a student as well, you know, feel free to hit me up on Twitter or just comment in the, you know, the comment section below and say that you want to learn how to trade 
cryptos or forex whatever it is you want to trade this all works in any uh, market if you don't believe me i had a friend who was asking me to look at a well fargo stock i actually helped my friend make a 12 percent return on their investment let's see right here i called it down here and it moved up 12 percent now this you know I, I told her you need to get out around this area and it has done so so you know yeah, i'm just saying it works the same i'm just letting you guys know that the market is the same in all spaces <laughs> You could trade Ichimoku in any uh, arena, <laughs> any arena of the financial market. So that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, comment and subscribe and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. All right. God bless and peace. Mm -hmm.